welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be sharing a really fun and new flocking video for you guys. Um, if you are brand new to my sh my channel, hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Michelle and I live in Atlanta, Georgia and I do a sprinkle of all kinds of fun things on this channel from um, DIY projects to decorating, shopping with me, organization and cleaning motivation. So if those are topics that you are interested in and enjoy watching, I would love and encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because we have a lot of really fun holiday themed projects coming very, very soon, including today's video. So um, yeah, I'm going to be sharing with you guys today just kind of how in the entire process of flocking a garland from start to finish. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I actually flocked our seven and a half foot Christmas tree last year. I will link that up here for you guys to check out so that you can see I shared the entire process with you. And this year I decided to go ahead and flock some garland for our home. And I'm also gonna flock um, a wreath for our front door as well. So I'm excited to share the process. You guys have asked a ton of questions and so I'm going to be really informative and detailed this time around um, just so that you guys can walk through the entire process with me and if you have questions along the way I'm happy to help in any way I can so make sure to comment down below and give this video a thumbs up because we're all excited for the Christmas holiday season or at least our family is very very excited. So with all that to be said let's get to creating. Okay, so here are the ingredients we are working with today. So this is the garland that I picked up actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, they actually had all their Christmas stuff 50% off, so this was only $10. Um, I actually did this one because it's pre-lit, as you can see. It's a pre-lit battery-operated one, so we can just put it on a timer. It's not super thick. Um, I've had garland in the past that is more... Um, thicker than these, but I really wanted one that I could just kind of manipulate since it's for more of like an entertainment center. Um, I didn't need it to be too, too thick. So it's more of on the thinner side as far as garland goes. Um, but I think it's the perfect length and size, um, for our, for our purposes. Um, and then I really like how easy the branches are to manipulate as you can see here. So that will be the first step is of course fluffing this up, which I will show in just a moment. And then moving right along, the next thing that I purchased um, that I talked about actually in the tips, things that I wish I had known, um, is utilizing a colander and a strainer. So these are from the dollar store. I picked up both of these and I will let you guys know which one actually works best. I have a feeling it's going to be this larger one because I think the larger size holes will work better for the flocking powder. But I got the mesh strainer, which I know will be super difficult to see um, as far as like the sizing of the holes. Let me show you this. Oh, that's probably that's a really good shot of it so that way you can see kind of the sizing of the holes um, obviously it is significantly smaller than the colander is um, but I wanted to try both of them so I could give you guys definitely the best advice as far as which one will work best for flocking I will tell you right now I guarantee you for a tree this larger colander is going to be the one and then um, like I said came from the Dollar Tree. This is the mess strainer one and then the colander tag is on the back just in case you guys need like the different numbers but this is what it was and it was in the kitchen section at Dollar Tree. The other thing that I purchased as well is this professional spray bottle um, and we will use that for our flocking purposes because what you'll do, um, you'll spray everything down first and then as you're flocking it, you'll spray it again. So um, I just got this from our local hardware store. It was like $2.88. It's a really great buy. And I like the fact that the nozzle is adjustable so we can make the spray more of a mist or more of like a direct on spray. Um, I think it's actually gonna work really well, really, really well. But of course, as I go through this, I will let you guys know. And last but not least, the entire purpose of why we are doing this. This is the um, decorative snow flocking powder that you can get from Seasons Reflection. Um, there is a link down below to Amazon. The last I checked, um, this was still in stock, but the, this 
specific five pound box was not. Um, I think they only have the two pound boxes left. Um, a five pound box will flock a 10 foot tree. So obviously this is way more flocking powder than we're gonna need today. But I had a whole entire box left over from last year, um, which is why you guys are seeing all these new projects this year because I loved the process so much, I wanted to continue flocking additional items for our home for the holidays. So um, I highly recommend this product, it's amazing. Um, it just works really, really well. You guys will see through the process today just how easy it is to use um, and like I said I don't need five pounds today this is definitely way more than enough to flock our garland and a couple of wreaths that we will be doing because I'll be flocking a wreath in the next video um, but like I said a five pound box will actually flock a 10 foot tree so um, if you do pick this up in the next year for your tree just know that that's how much flocking powder you will need for your tree but I'm so thankful that I have an entire box to play with this season. It'll be really fun to share some new um, projects with you guys. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. So one of the things I forgot to mention, you want to make sure you have a mask. Just trust me on that. Um, we all have masks right now, so it'll be easy for you to find and make sure you have a tarp down in your work area. So. All right, guys, let's get to greeting. Get all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing. Yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas So since it's so cold outside, I decided to hang the, the garland in our kitchen. I actually had a hook up there, so I just decided to leave it in here for the night to let it completely dry. Um, I will tell you, this is I've already learned a huge lesson from 
doing the tree to doing this because as you guys saw I definitely sprayed it a lot and just traveling with the garland from the outside into the kitchen I didn't get any flocking at all anywhere which already is a huge plus so um, this is what it looks like while it is drying and you can see it already has that really pretty flocked look um, I love the way that this turned out so now it's just playing the waiting game of letting it dry but so far we are very very happy with it and I don't think I'm gonna need a second coat as you can see there's still like pops of green I did that intentionally um, I was trying to make it not too winter wonderland looking and I really did want um, a little bit of the evergreen popping out um, I thought that would match our room a little bit better just to have little pops of color um, coming out of you know pops of the green I mean so anyways now we just sit and wait and I will tell you already this was such a good decision putting this um, into a bag because as you can see look how much flock actually got on this plastic bag so definitely recommend if you guys have a tree that has a battery pack um, just you know securing it in a ziploc bag just so that the actual block itself doesn't get stuff all over it and then I threw the little velcro attachment in there as well so this worked out really well I'm glad that I threw that in and I definitely would recommend you doing this as well if um, you are doing like a pre-lit uh, pre-lit garland tree um, that has a battery pack attached to it. All right, so here we are 24 hours later and it is looking so, so good. Um, I will even touch it so you guys can see. Not coming off, it's doing really, really well. Um, so yeah, so I think it's fully, fully dry and I don't feel, let me get it in focus, I don't feel that I need to do a second coat. Like I said in the last clip, I actually am purposefully doing it so that there's a lot of pops of green popping out. Um, yeah, so I think it looks really good and I think it is ready to be styled. All right, here we are. It is in its final resting area in our bedroom. So I wanted to give you a real life look of what happens when you put it, you know, take it from being um, flocked to upstairs. So as you guys can see, I have not cleaned any of this. I wanted to really show you like real life. Um, you'll see that there's definitely dusting powder a little bit, but it's this is manageable. This is very, very manageable. And I have a feeling like if you purchased, you know, um, a garland like this from the stores and you brought it home, you're probably going to have very similar experiences with the dusting. So I think this is pretty typical because I was moving, um, you know, the, the branches around. So... I think overall this is gonna work beautifully. I still have some work to do just to kind of style it a little bit better to get it where we want it as far as like the lights and everything and the placement. But overall, you guys, I'm very, very pleased with this. I think it turned out beautifully. And this was so affordable. And as you guys could see, it's very easy to do. And you can easily transform if you have a garland at home that needs maybe some some love. <laughs> um, I definitely recommend purchasing some snow flock and it completely changes the look or if you are just wanting to do more of the winter wonderland flocking look this is the perfect way to achieve that look for you. So highly recommend this whole process worked out beautifully. So there you have it guys. I hope you have enjoyed following along as I completely um, flocked some garland for our bedroom. Um, I'm actually loving it so much that I think I'm gonna go downstairs and grab some more garland that we have um, from previous years and actually I think I'm gonna flock that too for our living room. So um, definitely stay tuned for the home house tour that that is coming next week um, right after Thanksgiving. So Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, I'm gonna definitely share a whole entire Christmas um, home tour with you guys. So um, I'm sure that you guys will love that, especially if you're like me and you 
like to see how others decorate their homes. It's one of my most favorite videos. And then the very next video, we're gonna continue doing all these flocking projects, and I'm actually gonna flock um, a wreath for our front door. So I'm really excited about that. I've got some cool ideas on how to style it and all these really fun things, but I'm definitely gonna show you the process of how to flock a, um, a wreath for your home. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys have enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a big, big thumbs up. And comment below if you guys have done any um, DIY projects in your home. Have you flocked anything? Uh, Christmas tree, garland, what are some of the fun flocking projects that you guys have done um, either this year or maybe in the past? I would just love to hear from you. So thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.